we made it. And it wouldn't be working on prepping for deer season if it wasn't 90 plus degrees out. So you know that's a must. And we have a special guest today, by the way. Big Mike is back. Last weekend it was like 65, 70, but neither one of us could come down, so instead we get 90. So today, day for hay. great day for hay. Today we're gonna set up uh, some feeders. We're gonna be feeding some protein pellets and then also replenish our mineral sites and hang some cameras. So brought the ATV down in the mower, probably do a little bit of trimming around and then maybe plant some clover in a couple spots just to thicken it up a little bit. But it's gonna be hot and sweaty for sure. So, but I'll try and capture as much as I can on video and we're gonna get to it. So stay tuned. Look at this guy, carrying a little 20 pound feeder. He's got 100 pounds of pallets over here. A little 20 pound feeder. It's cute, isn't it? Ooh, I like the way you work those rods. Crystal said the same thing. <laughs> We're gonna get the new feeders set up and fill them up. So we got, Mike picked up four of these Boss Buck feeders. I think they're 200 pounds, right? Yep. So we're gonna try them out for this year. It's just a gravity fed feeder. And then it's got three feeding stations on the bottom. Pretty simple. Pretty simple design for pellet feed. Fill her up. We're gonna have to spin that base. What's that? What's this holding? Ah, uh, there's a sleeve inside of there. It just pretty much will tight. It'll let X amount of food come down. Mm -hmm. Somebody set it up right in front of the leg. So the deer won't even be able to get in there. Hey, lips. But it looks like it's gonna work good. Holds 200 pounds, so it should last probably a month. Uh, these deer have never used these feeders or these pellets, so it could last even longer than that. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them trained up this year. And really pour it on them next season. So I think next step is we're gonna come in here. Uh, last year we had this all sprayed and burned off. Um, so we're probably gonna come in here and spray all this again. Try and get a little bit of a clover plot established. Looks like there's pretty good clover over here in the middle, so I might just mow that and not spray it. You can see it's coming up pretty decent. So I might just hit that with the mower, but we're going to expand it a little bit this way, so I'll probably spray all this over here.
we had some technical difficulties. We ended up having to flip it over. Um, this thing was on. It can sit in there either this way or 180 degrees, and it was in there 180. So. And full disclaimer on the instructions, it does say line up the logos. I just can't read, so that's on me. It happens. It's a Michigan thing. So I think we gotta adjust a little bit. We're gonna dump a couple more bags in there. Mike's gonna get it adjusted. You can change the flow rate for to change how many pellets can come out. You can see that sleeve up in there. So you can raise and lower that. I'd say even a little lower. That's max. That's pretty good. They should be able to find this thing. Our mineral site's over there on the opposite side, so... They come through here quite a bit. But I'm gonna go get the four-wheeler unloaded, start doing some spraying, get this worked up, sprayed off. Sorry, we had a little change in game plan. But with all the stuff that was on the trailer, we decided to go and offload the feeders first, set them up. So we just set up the third feeder. You can see. 94, it's a hot one. So we're heading to set up the furthest farm to the south. We're gonna go set up the fourth feeder and I'll try and get the camera out down there while I sweat to death. It's not fat kid approved weather. I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long, long day. So stay tuned. We're going to get the rest of these feeders up, get the cameras up, and then start doing some uh, preparation for hunting. Go check the tree stands and do some other things. So. As long as we don't have a heat stroke. Feels good in the shade. Fourth spot. It's the last spot we have for the feeders. So after this, the hard work begins. But you can see we're gonna load her up. Got pellets, attractant, and then some protein blocks. So here's the finished product. You can see the attractant. And then we've got the gravity feeder up above. These feeders are actually pretty cool. So you can see they just have a separator. Um, you can adjust the height, which adjusts how much feed can come out. We've got them all the way open for this, these pellets. But should work awesome. We're gonna get a camera thrown up and get out of here. So we'll see you guys on the next spot. Woo, you guys are a little dusty. 
it is downright awful out here but i got that spot back there all mowed got the four-wheeler loaded back up mike hasn't died yet so we're doing great but we're gonna hit to the next spot uh, get some more mineral out there and then we've got to do a little bit more mowing so not looking forward to that but we'll see you there well we made her to the next spot um, this spot's kind of a corner you can see a big CRP field all out there. Uh, the deer generally will come out on that hill and then come up into this corner. And we have our tree stand right up there. So we're going to overseed a little bit of clover into this and then mow it and spray it. Hopefully we can... It's got quite a bit of alfalfa in it, but it's also got a lot of weeds in it. So overseeding it should help it out that's Mike's job cedar Mike and then this should be an awesome spot for this fall so we're gonna get to it I gotta run back get the mower Mike I'll have Mike start seeding and then we'll get to mowing hopefully it turns out if not we'll have what's already here, which is quite a bit of clover and alfalfa, and mowing it'll help make it a little more lush. mower so it's made for mowing your lawn but I'm gonna make some modifications to it um, it also looks like the blades need to be sharpened honestly it's worked pretty well today uh, my plan is to put some bigger tires on it give it some more adjustability um, so I can raise it up you know if we were two inches higher we could move along at a pretty good clip so but yeah I mean Overall, it does pretty good. And once we get it all, once we get it all mowed, then we're gonna come in and spray it all with clethodim to get rid of some of the grasses. And then I'm gonna cultipack it all to push that seed that was there down. So, but I think it should work pretty decent. We'll see. It should be a good spot come fall. Even if we can just keep it mowed and keep it lush, the deer will be in here like crazy. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna get this done. I'll probably catch back up with you guys once we start spraying. But so far, so good. Almost done. Probably another 15 passes. Well, we ran into some issues. So let me get the the mower ran out of gas and then we couldn't get it started again. So we ended up just cult packing what we had done. And then I hung up two more cameras and I think we should be ready to go for season. We've got one more camera to do probably tomorrow morning. Or yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it tonight. I'm beat. This heat is a killer. But we're all loaded back up. We're gonna hit the road, probably go get a shower and some dinner. Thanks for stopping by guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.